Out of nowhere and not long after update 11.0, which gave us access to the Oculus Link, uh, came a special Christmas surprise in the form of update 12.0. Or oh, zero, depending on where you're from. Now, update 12.0 contains some improvements and some new features, uh, but the biggest one, of course, we need to talk about first is hand tracking. You'll remember from my review of the Oculus Quest that the hand tracking feature uses the four external cameras on the outside of the device to not only accurately track your hand movements, but also individual finger movements, which just sounds weird to say. But in doing so allows for a much more immersive experience for brand new VR users, gaming veterans and boomers alike. You knew I was coming for you, boomers. At Oculus Connect 6 this year, uh, this feature was described as being released in 2020, so it was obviously a surprise to people when it was released in the 12.0 update this week. Kind of. We'll get into the details and what exactly it means for you. Firstly, can you actually get the version 12 update? Uh, since I'm a few days late in making this video, thanks, 9 to 5 job. I'm also going to need you to go ahead and come in on Sunday too. Uh, last I saw the update was being gradually rolled out to users, uh, with some receiving it much earlier than others. And after a few days of checking, I actually only received my version this morning. So hopefully by this point, most of you should have access to it, but if not, just wait longer. So once you have the update installed, simply head over to settings, see all and experiments, and there you should have a toggle to turn on for hand tracking. So once you've got it turned on, what exactly can you use hand tracking for? Well, right now it only supports first party apps like the Oculus web browser, Oculus TV, the home screen, and the Oculus Store. So yes, just to make that clear, right now the hand tracking feature is not compatible with any VR games. But developers will get access to the SDK or the software developer kits this week, at which point we'll just have to see which game will be the first to utilize hand tracking functionality, but more importantly, who will do it the best. So for now, how does hand tracking actually work? Once a hand tracking experimental feature has been turned on, you can swap from controllers to hand tracking in the settings menu. Uh, when hand tracking is enabled, it's super intuitive. Basically use your index finger and thumb to click. And yes, we'll ignore the fact that that's a weird nipple pinch. Good luck with the nipple rubbing. Uh, and then to scroll down screens, you hold that motion and just move your hand up and down. But in the time I've used it so far, albeit that is just in menus, uh, so far I'm pretty impressed. It seems pretty accurate. Uh, specifically, the, the main thing we were talking about, that precise finger tracking seems to be pretty accurate. But that's everything on hand tracking, but that's not the only thing that version 12.0 gave us. What else was in the update? Uh, firstly, AMD 200 and 300 GPUs are now supported by the Oculus Link. You'll remember when we talked about its launch, only some Nvidia cards were supported, and at the time of its launch, no AMD cards were supported at all. So in that short amount of time from version 11 to version 12, they're making some good progress. As well as that for Link users, uh, the Oculus patch notes describe general performance improvements and stability fixes. Uh, and in terms of audio, whether this is something you've been experiencing, uh, they've also said, we've separated the system audio from VR audio, so you'll only hear VR game audio while using Link, instead of hearing game and desktop audio together. Which the issue there was if you had any messaging apps or a Windows update pop up or something happened on your PC while you were using the Oculus Link, you would hear that audio in your headset. So they've now completely separated those channels out. And lastly, as if hand tracking wasn't enough, uh, another experimental feature rocking its way to some users in the version 12 update is voice commands. And I say some users like that because it seems even more selective than the order in which people receive the 12.0 update. People who already have it can't see this. Some people can, some people can't. I don't, I don't know why. But in the patch notes, Oculus describes the voice command feature by saying, use your voice to navigate, control your device, and find new apps and games by clicking the voice command buttons on the home menu. This beta feature is rolling out gradually, so not everyone will see it in this software update. But since I've not actually seen anyone use this feature yet, that's about as much as I can tell you. From the sounds of that, obviously it sounds similar to the hand tracking in that it's meant to be used uh, natively on the home screens, navigating menus, kind of like an Alexa assistant to take you to certain pages and perform certain things. Uh, will we get to see it in game at some point? Who knows? There's probably some decent in-game features that developers could think of for this, uh, so I'm excited to see what happens. So that's the latest in Oculus Quest news from me, uh, but I'd like to leave you with a question. With developers getting their hands on the SDK kits this week, I'd like you to let me know in the comments down below which game you would most like to see hand tracking features come to. I'm going to start you off super old school and say Job Simulator. Super immersive, I'm a mechanic, I want to throw something at someone. It's nice and simple. I'm a simple man. But that's it from me. So if you enjoyed this video or found it somewhat helpful, a like rating would be appreciated. If you have not already, remember to subscribe to the channel. And as always, I shall see you in the next one.